Welcome into the Rundown, July 1st edition. The second month of Futures League action is underway. Let's see what happened around the Futures League here on the Rundown. I'm TJ Hardnett. Let's check it out. A rain-shortened Friday highlighted Futures League play as three of the five games on tap for the day were rescheduled due to the rainouts. Check the Futures League website for information regarding the future state of those games, but there were still two games in play. Here were the highlights. The Martha's Vineyard Sharks flourished on the island, defeating the Brockton Rocks 8-2. UMass startman Stephen Colella got the victory for the Sharks, going six innings, allowing one unearned on four hits while striking out three. Longwood's Alex Lewis was the offensive jolt for the Vineyard, going three for four with one RBI and one run scored, as seen here. Campbell's J.D. Andreessen had a long two-run home run for his first of the season, leading the Sharks to victory. The North Shore Navigators marched into Nashua and took a win in extras from the Silver Knights in the 9-6 victory. Southeastern's Mike Diaconti led the way for the Navs, going 3-4 with three RBIs on a single, double, and a home run. The Navs put up a three-spot in the top of the 11th to seal the game for Jake Dexter, out of Southern Maine, who went two and one-third innings, giving up zero runs and striking out two. Now it's time for the Futures League Pitcher and Player of the Night, brought to you by On Deck Sports, the official sponsor of the Futures League. The On Deck Sports Pitcher of the Night goes to Martha's Vineyard Stephen Colella at a UMass Dartmouth, who went six innings, allowing one unearned run on four hits while striking out three in the victory over Brockton. The On Deck Sports Player of the Night goes to North Shore's Mike Diaconti out of Southeastern, who went 3-for-4 four with three RBIs in the game, leading the Navigators to victory over the top-seeded Nashua Silver Knights. Here's a look at your West Division standings, all the same with the rainouts. Worcester at 17-6, Bristol 12-12, Pittsfield 11-13, Torrington 10 and 14, Wachusett 9 and 16. In the East, the Nashville Silver Knights stay in first despite the loss at 17 and 8. Seacoast remains at 16 and 9. Brockton drops another to 12 and 15. Martha Vineyard climbs closer to third at 11 and 15. And North Shore is sneaking its way up as well, 10 and 16. On deck for the Futures League on Saturday, the Navigators will be back in Lynn to take on the Brockton Rocks at 6. The Seacoast Mavericks host the Bristol Blues at 635. Torrington Titans travel to Wachusett to battle the Dirt Dogs. Nashville will take the ferry to the Vineyard to face the Sharks, and Pittsfield will be at home to play the Worcester Bravehearts. That's our show here on The Rundown. We'll have all Saturday night action on Sunday's edition of The Rundown tomorrow. Come back, check it out. Mm -hmm.